I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also let's not forget about their live action and animated Star Wars TV shows to arrive on Disney Plus, and even the new Star Wars trilogy, also known as the fourth Star Wars trilogy of films by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one exciting thing about the future of Star Wars is that Kathleen Kennedy lost her creative freedom and is no longer fully in control of this new Star Wars universe, at least for the most part, right? We do know that she's only in charge of the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series and, of course, the animated Star Wars TV show that is currently untitled. The rest is all up to Jon Favreau, George Lucas, Dave Filoni, and other creators coming on board over at Lucasfilm. To really bring Star Wars back on track to the way it used to be pre-Disney Star Wars. Now, looking at everything related to all the projects that are in the works over at Lucasfilm, we do know that they have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the works for Disney Plus alone. That is just for the TV series, apart from the actual movies. Just let that sink in for a second there, right? When you think about it this way. They have over 10 years worth of Star Wars TV shows in the works, and they have also other movies in the works at the same exact time. So a lot of Star Wars content is coming in the near future, regardless of this little hiatus that we have for the Star Wars movies. Now, with that being said, what's really exciting all has to do with actor Hayden Christensen and the characters of Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader and how it all involves Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni as creators. Now, on top of all of this, with both Disney and Lucasfilm now finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are now primarily focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as their new Star Wars universe. It's explained that both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are hard at work on developing a new Star Wars universe and plans to reunite the Star Wars fans around the world in order to create a better future for the Star Wars community. Now, it's explained that Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are very busy working together for a major plan to bring back actor Hayden Christensen into the new Star Wars universe, where it's noted that Favreau and Filoni are working on a very important scene for the Kenobi TV series for Hayden to be a part of as Anakin Skywalker. The sequence is described to involve Hayden in the suit of Darth Vader except without a helmet slash mask, however that would serve as a scene in the form of a dream that would unveil to Kenobi on exactly why he turned to the dark side of the force, where it's noted that this vision will give Kenobi the vision he needed to understand as to why Anakin turned to the dark side, which was to save his wife Padme Amidala during childbirth. Now, the vision sequence as far as the story goes is aimed to be a vision created by the Wills, who are godlike beings, letting Kenobi know the ultimate reason as to why his best friend turned to the dark in order to ease his pain on Tatooine. Now, not just that, but also Hayden is set to return in the suit as Darth Vader, and that they are aiming for Vader to have full-fledged scenes in the movie, with Hayden in the suit with James Earl Jones doing the voiceover work for Darth Vader in, a, and of course, the Kenobi TV show. So, this is the most exciting thing to me as a Star Wars fan. You know, when you think about it this way, this is somewhat modeled after the Star Wars Legends Obi-Wan Kenobi books, where... You do get to learn a lot about Kenobi's life on Tatooine and what he thinks about Darth Vader, what he thinks about, you know, him defeating Anakin slash Vader on Mustafar and what that really meant to him as a Jedi. All of these different side stories and storylines will become a part of the Kenobi TV show. And I got to thank, you know, John Favreau and Dave Filoni just trying their absolute best to really satisfy the fans with the return of Hayden in the works you know, for the Kenobi show and for the entire Star Wars franchise. I think that this really means something. This really tells us that they care about the fans, they care about the actors, because let's face it, Hayden deserves to return to Star Wars. Some of you out there may disagree, and that's fine. Everybody's opinion is welcome here. Uh, but I feel that Hayden deserves a second chance after his portrayal of Anakin in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. The Kenobi TV series could very well be his redemption as an actor, to show the fans exactly how well he can really act. You know, I've seen, you know, improvement within him as an actor in a movie called Takers and other movies out there that he was a part of that really didn't get the traction that it deserved. So, Everything else involved with this new Star Wars universe is that Dave Filoni and John Favreau just really want to make a darker turn for Star Wars. This Kenobi TV show, in case you guys did not know, is going to be a very dark Star Wars series. 
just like Revenge of the Sith, except darker. So you can only imagine what these vision sequences are going to be like, and the return of Darth Vader. The most exciting thing out of all this, with James Earl Jones stepping back into the Star Wars universe as the voice of Darth Vader, I cannot be more excited because the last we heard of him as Darth Vader was in 2016's Rogue One A Star Wars Story. So, you know, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, let me know what you think about the entire situation here for the Kenobi series. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.